Our time of confession this morning comes from Psalm 41. In it we read these words. Blessed are those who have regard for the weak. The Lord delivers them in times of trouble. The Lord protects and preserves them. They are counted among the blessed in the land. He does not give them over to the desire of their foes. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed and restores them from the bed of their illness. Let us come to God in a time of confession. Father in heaven, as we hear these words from the psalmist, as we hear this call for us to have regard for the weak, Lord, we hear also, along with it, the many blessings that you long to pour out upon those who do indeed care for the weak and the oppressed in our country, in our province, in our city, in our region, and in our world. We hear, O oh God, about how You will pour out protection and preservation. That you will, you will bless them. And people will call them blessed. How You will sustain them when they are sick and restore them from their illness, O oh God. And yet, O oh Lord, we know. We know that often the poor and the weak, those who are oppressed, those who are struggling, are out of our hearts and minds. And we do not regard them. We confess, O oh God, that even sometimes among our own congregation, our own folks, Sometimes those among us who are needy for whatever reason and in whatever way, sometimes we forget about their need. Sometimes we walk along in our comfort without paying attention to those who are sorrowing. And so, Lord, we ask for Your forgiveness. And as we take a few moments, O oh God, we pray that Your Holy Spirit would show us the ways in which we have disregarded the needy and the weak and the poor among us. Lord God, thank You for hearing our prayers. and Thank You for Your love, O oh God. Lord, we praise You that You are indeed merciful to us. Help us and guide us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our words of assurance come also from Psalm 41 in verse 10 following to verse 13. We read these words, But may you have mercy on me, Lord. Raise me up that I may repay them. David speaking of his enemies. I know that you are pleased with me, for my enemy does not triumph over me. Because of my integrity you uphold me and set me in your presence forever. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen. God is indeed pleased with us, not because of our perfection, but because of His great love and mercy. Let us stand together and continue our worship in song together as we sing, Be Still My Soul. Let us rise.